Mm -hmm. Look at all of that. Very dusty. Church one from thrifting. I got. It seems like we have some kind of weird stomach bug going around the house right now. To the vlog so we have done so much baking we've been in the kitchen a lot this morning we have croissants or how do french people say it? croissant i don't know i probably butchered that but i have my raw milk i have my raw milk iced coffee or iced latte so good with a double shot of espresso nola's over there playing with all the kitchenware um but i am so in love with making croissants now they are so good so so good Especially fresh croissants. Oh my gosh. It's a process. It took me like three days. So worth it though. So that took me three days to officially go through the whole process of making the croissants. Like I said, it's worth it. Let me know down below if you guys want a video where I go through all the techniques and everything I did to make them. It's really such a good recipe. Not my recipe though. I got it from Claire Savage. So let me know if you want to see a video of me testing and sharing anything that I've learned from making them however today is gonna be a day in the life maybe a week in the life we'll see there's a lot of things that I want to do throughout this week and I might take you guys and I might take you guys along with me and I have sourdough in the oven it's just been a very productive busy morning I also want to do some thrifting but I haven't decided if I'm going to the thrift store today is senior day or if I'm gonna do some thrifting on Facebook market both sound good to me we'll see but um, yeah I also want to take the kids to the pool so there's like a lot of things on my list as well as I really want to redo and kind of refresh the playroom oh Nola so I want to redo and refresh kind of zhuzh up the playroom a bit and kind of give it a facelift a little refresh because baskets have fallen off things have broken that was in the playroom. D is home today. The kids are listening to some nursery rhymes and I'm gonna try to finish up baking in the kitchen and doing some meal prep probably for this week as well. I'm listening to some podcasts and Baby. yeah look at these flaky layers though like ooh, so good. Anyways um this week is also the week that I really want to be strict and very intentional about potty training because I'm so sick of spending this kind of money on diapers every month. It's just not necessary. Noah is four. He's really good at it. It's just me that has to stay consistent. I keep telling, I keep talking about this on my channel, but it's just so hard for me to remember to put him on every like 15 to 30 minutes and I just get frustrated with it. So that is definitely a mom struggle of mine. Potty training is just not easy, so. It got really dark back there. 
But yeah, I'm just listening to some podcasts, some homestead part. I'm listening to some homestead podcasts. Um, I want to redo the playroom. So there's a lot of things kind of going on this week. I also want to test some recipes. I want to try to make some homemade vanilla extract as well as make some vanilla ice cream from home. So take you guys along with that. So there's just a lot going on this week. Can we go? You guys ready? Go ahead. Go ahead in. We'll have a little ice cream chat. I am eating coffee ice cream. Both kids are, well, Noah's almost asleep. Nola's already asleep. The pool was so much fun. I had to wash my hair because a girl got it wet because my mom dropped her sunglasses at the bottom of the pool in like six feet. So I had to go get them and go underwater. And I usually don't do that. If all my black girls out there know, we don't like to get our hair wet. So anyways um so i had to wash my hair and it kind of has a weird texture i also trimmed it a little bit i think i need to clarify it with warm water and apple cider vinegar i'll do that like tomorrow or something but my hair is kind of feeling like really dry and a weird texture anyways however i wanted to try to make my own ice cream tomorrow we'll see if i pick up the camera though because it seems like we have some kind of weird stomach bug going around the house right now my brother had it um, and now D has it, so I'm praying that me and the kids don't get it. But I, I don't know if it's just me being like my hypochondriac, hypochondriac self, or my anxiety is just high. But I kind of feel like I don't feel that good either. And then I'm eating ice cream. Right so we'll see if I pick up the camera tomorrow. But um, yeah, today was a busy, slow day at the same time, if that's even possible. So I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow. I'm closing the dryer because D has work tomorrow. If He's even feeling good, so we'll see. But I need to dry his clothes. Hmm. I'm 
mom's duties are never done right and then i think i'm gonna go watch netflix or maybe just pass out i've been watching bridgerton the second season i already found out what happened in it but yeah i already found out what happens because i was watching a video on youtube someone already spilled beans on what happens with bridgerton so i don't know if i'm gonna watch that anymore season two it seems kind of boring however i enjoy the costumes i really like period pieces i've been really into those lately i have been watching the great as well i think that one's on hulu using someone else's hulu account but it's kind of funny it's like a funny but a little bit serious period piece it's good i like it so far so maybe i'll continue watching that what else oh, i recently watched maria marie marie antoinette that one was really good but however i didn't like the ending it wasn't like they really told what happened but it was really um, a beautiful movie and a fun movie for the most part so i enjoyed that but yeah i'm gonna go watch netflix now so Everything something to eat. I mean everything to eat. Can you help me open it? You want some? It has been two days basically since the last time I picked up the camera. We did end up getting a really bad stomach bug. I am about to eat some of this yogurt because I am hungry. It's like one it's one o'clock and this is like the only thing that I had. I always put it in the freezer for a little bit. Yeah, we had a really bad stomach bug and it was absolutely crazy. It was terrible. We are feeling so much better now, thank the Lord, because we haven't been sick here in a long time. We don't get sick here at all very often. So when we do, it just like completely wipes us out. So we were in bed all day yesterday. Um, when we got home from the pool, I remember, I think that was like the last clip I filmed before like today's clips. Anyways, long story short, we're feeling a lot better. Praise the Lord. It was just a rough few days for sure, but um, yeah. Just when we came back from the pool, we just weren't feeling that good. And I've been talking to some of you on Instagram, my husband's coworkers, a lot of people, and I've been seeing in vlogs too, a lot of people have been having a stomach bug, so. Mm -hmm. 
some kind of stomach flu hi. virus is going hi, on. Hi, mommy. Hmm. Hi. Uh, my bag is so broken. Mm. It's broken. We've been having trouble again with the tricycle. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that van with tricycle. They're so cute. Very expensive. But it keeps like breaking down. I don't know what's with that. <laughs> Anyways, so for the rest of the vlog, I wanted to test out an ice cream recipe, <laughs> make my own homemade vanilla extract, do a few other things. I wanted to restyle this shelf and kind of just hang out with you guys. So I hope you guys don't mind. Is that cold? I put it in the freezer. The kids are just hanging out, playing. Um, um, Noah's in the other room building stuff with my mom right now. Um, mm -hmm. Mommy, mm. what's going on yoga? But yeah, I am so grateful that we're feeling better. I decided to get my get dressed, do my hair, throw myself together just a little bit. That always seems to kind of help. Yoga. Potty training. Potty training has like gone out the window this week. I'm already like giving up on it. Diapers it is. <laughs> we'll try again next week and try to dedicate the whole week to it and see yoga. how that goes. Yoga. But this week I'm already like giving up. It's already like Thursday, so. Okay, so I wanted to share some new prints that I got for my house and swapped out my winter ones finally. Um, I have one more for the playroom, but I'm going to save that for like its own little video. But this is one. It's like a little, it's like a little prairie print. So beautiful. I get my prints from North Print. I'll try to link them down below. They're a little Etsy shop where you can get paintings, print them out for a, you can print them out for a very low price from Etsy. And then I got this like cathedral church one which is so pretty i love that and then i got the frames all from thrifting i got this from facebook market and these were from like thrift stores i love the antique vibes of the frames with the old pictures i just love that so here's some new prints and i'm going to try to rearrange my shelf and just kind of switch it up just a little bit and maybe the entryway as well d has his whole like video game set up over here underneath my gallery wall which is just i don't really love it but he needs somewhere to put it like that's his little space um so that's there and i just wanted to rearrange the shelf i feel like it's been the same for a while and i just want to do like a little pick me up on the shelf so something simple it's not going to be too crazy we'll see how different it looks after probably not that different just kind of switch things around a little bit and maybe add a few other things that are in the entryway and kind of just like facelift it a little bit and add some new print to the area i think that would be kind of fun okay so the first thing i do when i want to restyle something i literally just take everything off and just kind of start over start from scratch and just play around with it it's okay if it doesn't turn out the way you want you just play with it that's like the fun in designing and redesigning I just like to play with things so in order for that to happen I just like to take everything off the kids and my mom are having a dance party the kids and my mom are having a dance party in the other room while I have some little decor fun in here real quick a little break from them but um yeah I like to decorate with like old books from the vintage area in the thrift store a lot of like vintage antique pieces you guys already know but I have to be a little careful with this area because this is like the only place in the house that's like truly my area just for like little decor pieces but I like them to be functional too if possible but this is like my only area where it's like really truly decor because I don't really like a lot of decor I like to keep things pretty minimal and simple but um yeah find like all kinds of random things up here occasionally which is so funny very dusty probably should wipe that down also I have to be really careful with this shelf because it is really old and antique and you want to make sure I don't put too much on one area because it will it will break so rattan is very sensitive I always want to keep that in mind when styling this shelf. Ooh, is that gonna fit? Not with the books, okay. 
so maybe this can go over here. vanilla no churn ice cream so it's only three ingredients you need condensed milk sweetened condensed milk um heavy whipping cream yeah, and vanilla these. noah's eating a popsicle nola's sleeping which is rare but someday she takes naps and i'm all here for it so i love that so we're gonna try to do that and we are trying to make ice cream popsicles we are trying to make ice cream in the popsicle molds yes we are i'll leave the molds down below if you guys want to check them out they're from amazon i love mm -hmm. them yeah we've, we've they made, are yummy we made popsicles um you want to show like this we've made popsicles before noah's literally eating one that one's mango mango so good that one's mango something and i just get organic juice and i'll put like a little video reel how i did it so easy, so good, so simple. So we're gonna try to make ice cream, vanilla ice cream bars in them. And this is a yeah, no churn, yeah, so you yeah. don't need an ice cream. You don't need an ice cream machine. Um, but I think you might need a stand mixer. I'm gonna use my stand mixer. The recipe says, "Mommy, whip to I'm gonna make it all by myself, and, mm -hmm. I, and I'm gonna love it." <laughs> You're gonna love it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to whip it to stiff peaks and then add everything else in. I'm also gonna use some fresh vanilla beans as well. I ordered these off of Amazon. So I'm gonna try to get like a vanilla bean ice cream. Mommy. And then later we're gonna put mommy, these also mommy, to start making. You wanna see them? Uh -huh. What do they look like? They look like this. And you know that they're fresh when you can like wrap it around your finger, which is something Are they super yummy cool. To eat? And they're really soft. Mommy, mommy. You wanna put them in things. So you cut them open and you put the vanilla bean like paste in things to flavor it as vanilla. Oh, now I get it. Yeah. I mean, like the smell. They smell. They smell so good, huh? Yeah, it smells so, so good. So fresh. Anyway, so we're gonna make our own vanilla bean extract yeah. hopefully later too. I also want to take apart that kitchen and start getting that whole play room renovation started. Just like a little, not a renovation, but just like a little facelift. I've been. Just kind of tired of the way it is. Some things have broken, fallen Mommy, apart. Mommy! Yeah? You are making it melt. I'm making it melt? Oh yeah, he thinks the light is gonna make his um, popsicle melt. I don't know, maybe that's a good theory, Noah. Maybe, huh? <laughs> maybe it might. Anyways, I've talked enough. Um, let's make this recipe. <laughs> Thank you. 
you have to pour it nice and steady in here. There you go, nice and steady. Until we see it adding up right here, about right there, I would say. That is so yummy. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Look at all of that. Is that cool or what? Yeah. It's cool. Now, let's do that. It's just really thick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little, little oopsie there. But mommy, we will clean up later. Yes, we will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes really good actually. I don't know what he means. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Mommy, do you want me to help you? Yeah, you could place one, place one. Th this one? Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mommy, can I put one in? Even, but you don't want to stick it in too far, okay? Why? You want to be able to have a stick for your ice cream hold, right? Oh no! <laughs> Mommy. So now we're gonna bring these into the fridge, into the freezer. Mommy, I'm gonna help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close it up. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> So a little mom tip, I have my magic eraser. The kids decided to take crayon and draw on the wall and the floor and it's kind of hard to get off. So I'm gonna try to scrub it off yeah, yeah, with the magic yeah, eraser. Is it coming out? Nope. Yeah, you guys did a number on that one. Here, try flipping it over this way. Let's see. Mommy, mommy. Mm. Oh, whoa, why is it, why is it white? <sighs> I told you so. Okay, <laughs> so the kids are finally asleep in bed. I have tools and stuff like everywhere. I was working on some of the play kitchen stuff along with like playroom stuff just to give me a head start for tomorrow. And yeah, so the kitchen looks nasty. That's why. But I wanted to still do the homemade vanilla with you guys. So let's do that real quick. It is late. It is lately. It's 11.08. I get a lot of my work done at night. Oh, and we still have that ice cream that I haven't tried yet, so I want to do that as well. The pedal broke on the bike again. <sighs> the whole thing with that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take Tito's handmade vodka and just pour it in this glass container. I already washed it out. And I am just going to pour it in. I'm probably going to need more vodka because the beans are not going to be submerged, I don't think. Yeah, I'm going to need to buy more vodka. So I probably won't use all my beans today. But I'm going to take my homemade Madagascar vanilla bean pieces or beans. And... I'm gonna cut them in halves like this so that way they're submerged because you want to make sure they're submerged in the vodka so I'm definitely gonna need to buy more vodka and I'm gonna just kind of cut a few in half and then you're supposed to leave this for a few weeks you're supposed to leave it for a few weeks and then you have your own homemade vanilla extract which is really nice because this stuff is really expensive so yeah let me cut them open and use them, or just drop them in. Okay. 
so we cut we cut them open earlier you guys remember that so i'm just gonna do that i'm not gonna use all of them but i'm gonna use definitely some of them I'm just gonna open a few and then just drop them straight in. Here's one that was already open. So if you're using vanilla beans and you use all the beans out of the vanilla bean, you can just put the casings in there too. And then that will still make homemade vanilla extract. But you're gonna let this sit for a few weeks and you wanna make sure that it's pretty airtight at least covered well and it's just going to ferment and the alcohol is going to turn it into extract so i'm really 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 excited to do this and i'm going to have vanilla beans all in my nails so i'm going to have to somehow get that out and put that in there too because you do not want to waste vanilla bean they are like a delicacy they're not even grown here it's a very tropical ingredient and that's why it is expensive I don't even think they grow it here in the US. And then also you can just add to this just more vodka and more be more beans and you don't have to ever take you don't ever have to take these out. They can last like years. People pass vanilla extract down for years and you don't have to worry about it getting you don't have to worry about it getting moldy or anything like that because of the high alcohol proof in it. So you don't have to worry about that. So yeah. Is this another casing that I had earlier? I think it is. So yeah, you want to save all the casing. I wanted to try the ice cream. I wanted to try it with the kids, but honestly, it's just been such a long day. So let's see together if these turned out. So I know with these, you're supposed to run it under some warm water. A little bit. I'm so scared. Oh, they are stuck. So. They look okay. How do they taste though? They are still very soft, but good. They're definitely like the texture of ice cream. They're not like super, super frozen though, so I don't know if I need to let them set overnight. The homemade vanilla ice cream for the win. Anyways, you guys, I hope you liked this video. I feel like it was so long. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.